All right, so I finished doing the um, placing down the well all the stuff for me for the Austrian um, the Austro-Hungarian troops now Hold on here So anybody west of the Visloka going towards the uh, Vistula here um, That's under German control. So these guys that are Austrian troops um, Brejevich cannot he's over here uh, he cannot tell them what to do, essentially. Um, he'd have to go and talk to, I guess, uh, uh, Conrad von Holzendorf and, uh, you know, that whole nine yards. But this is off the books due to the fact of the uh, Katowice uh, conference agreement. So, yep, I just decide I love it. I love staring at, um, oh, I like all the little colors. The problem is, yeah, uh, it's bizarre due to the fact, I think I've said this before, um, here I am, like, um, not into stacking, and yet I'm, like, got the most... It's like a Jenga freaking ma map. It's ridiculous. Um, yeah, I don't know if you can be able to see these thing. Well, obviously not if I got it in here, but... Uh, or maybe it doesn't really matter. I'll bring it in a little bit. Um, there we go. You probably still won't be able to see, but I'll try. There we go. See, I color code them as much as I can. And yet again, I don't know if this is plausible for the command and control. And yet again, this is not something that is in Der Weltkrieg. It's just something that I'm trying to do in my own narrative and trying to figure out things over time. And if um, it doesn't, uh, I'm going to change it as I go. Uh, that's the way I, I'm looking at it. All right, so we've got the second army over here. We've got the third army over here. We've got the fourth army over here. We've got the first army over here. And then uh, that's it. So what do we do? This is the, um, what the hell? What a bummer. Uh, pain in the arse moment because we had some ch third army has been doing really good uh, bringing troops across uh, the boog here. And, um, shit, man, um, this is going to cause us some grief. I'm going to try to do some combined attack with the third and fourth armies towards here somehow. Remember, this, this is, this guy's under fourth army control. They've got one troop that uh, retreated over here, the Austro-Hungarian, uh, Landwehr Brigade, um, the German, um, Troops that were here uh, were wiped out from an overwhelming uh, uh, attack that went really well. It went really well for the Russians. Um, and they've exploited this gap here and they've taken over some uh, spots. Just tr so uh, I've got to deal with this first. And I still want to somehow bring troops across here. I've got 10 strength points here. This is awesome with a, a trench. There's no bloody way in hell I'm going to need, uh, need 10, obviously need 10 and I know they're out of supply or they haven't well they did a, a bit of a supply attack here that but I think they're running out quickly oh, I can't wait to do reconnaissance man so what I'm going to try to do is still trying to figure out how to take Stanislaw over here um, so we're, no uh, I've got 10 supply points I'm going to try and yet again just keep bringing people around here this is the main uh, thing. With the 10 supply points, we're going to hammer that son of a bitch as hard as we can. Um, the, the main thing is, is that uh, come December, sorry, come December, we have to maintain uh, a, um, a proper defensible position across the river. I do not want... Uh, I want to, like I said, I want to have all this secured. The objective was to secure uh, this spot, at least at the bare minimum. We need this, so there's an extra hex to take. Um, and these co uh, things caused us some grief. Um, but this is the main one. If I can take this spot, and these two spots are secure, as in there's uh, going to be extremely difficult for them to, t uh, um, to get me out of there, um, I think we're... You know, we're halfway home, I guess is what I'm trying to say. I'm not too worried about this spot, to be honest with you. Uh, there's big gaping holes, big deal. What, what are they going to do? There's tons of really not very good defensible terrain here. I'm not worried. Um, 
Yeah, that's about it, really. Uh, I'm just, for the Austro-Hungarians, that's the main thing here. Uh, look, uh, there's some logistical BS going on around here. I've got, like, the the First Army doing sweet pee all. If you can see this purple, there's no other purples around here. That type of shit. So I have to figure out, I mean, no one has it. I mean, no one has it really any supply points except for the uh, the Eighth Corps over here, the Fourth Army Eighth Corps dude. And he's, um... Who's he controlling? No one. Talk about logistical crap. So I have to figure this out. Uh, you know, I've got the 4th Army uh, direct over here. Uh, and who is he? Uh, Von Offenberg. And he's got no supply points. So we got to deal with, like, there's a lot of stuff. Uh, well, this was another objective. We got, like I said, these. Adios, amigo. And then we'll just keep trying to bolster around, uh, bolster up around the sun. And um, that's that. I can't really see anything else we're going to do. The Germans want to deal with uh, what's going on over there. Go for it. Uh, we got enough issues to deal with. And then I'll try to figure out what's going on over here. That's it. I just wanted you, I guess, to kind of see what's, um, what it looks like from the Austro-Hungarian perspective before I um, start doing the big, the big, the big thing, which is going, obviously going to be um, the Germans. Okay, Duke.